Can somebody tell me why a toy channel for kids with 6.5 million subscribers has a picture of goddamn Pennywise the Clown in the top right corner of their channel art? There's something about the way that he's just right behind Spider-Man, like, oh, you see your favorite superhero? You better keep watching these videos teaching you the same six colors or something real bad's gonna happen to him. Oh no. <laughs> So something is not quite right with Talk Talk Toys. I can't quite put my finger on it yet, but from the usage of feet in the videos, the strange sound effects they use, the cover photo featuring Pennywise the Clown, and the fact that they are the 33rd highest ranked channel currently on YouTube internationally on Social Blade. And Social Blade rank pretty much just means how relevant you are based on how many views and subscribers you're currently getting. So they're 33rd, just to put that in perspective, PewDiePie is 36 ranks behind them. He's ranked 69 right now. So obviously, in order for you to get a good idea of what's going on with this channel and make up your own opinion about it, we have to look at some of the videos. But don't worry, I won't leave you alone with the strange babysitter that is Talk Talk Toys. I'm going to be commentating throughout. So let's check out some of the content. So this channel's been steadily growing for a while, blowing up even more over the past couple months, and it seems like the content that they got popular off of was sort of like this DIY, kinetic sand, oddly satisfying approach to teaching kids colors, which is completely benign unless you find the destruction of kinetic sand coke bottles to be particularly disturbing. Now what makes this channel kind of weird in my opinion is three things. One, the involvement of feet in the videos. I mean, feet personally kind of gross me out, so that might be my bias showing through here. Kids might find feet funny, I just don't like the vibe of this video whatsoever. Just the foot constantly going into the paint and then scrunching up when it pulls out and the kids cheering for the foot going into the paint is just weird. Now the whole feet thing could really just boil down to kids find feet funny or something like that. They get clicks, they get views, we make money, so we're gonna keep making videos with feet. The only situation where I could really find it strange is if this guy had some weird reverse foot fetish where he liked kids looking at his feet. I'm not saying that's the case whatsoever. Maybe I'm just hypersensitive to getting creeped out by feet after Dan Schneider got exposed. Now the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the sound effects. Most of them are completely normal, just like everything else with this channel. They're just kids cheering, kids saying mm-mm, or kids saying oh no stuff like that but there are a couple that kind of make me unsettled let me know what you think i'll put a couple of them in a little compilation here <laughs> <laughs> the first sound is not a gleeful baby just having some fun. That sounds like a baby in distress to me. It sounds like a baby crying. It weirds me out. I don't like it in my kids' content. Then you have the evil sort of maniacal laugh. I don't know. You guys might hear a normal child's laughter or something like that, but I've heard child laughter sound effects before, and that's not one of them. That sounds really freaking creepy. And all of this would be, like, somewhat normal or explainable if it was just, like, a random mistake. Like, he was like, oh, I accidentally picked the baby crying instead of the baby in glee. I accidentally picked an evil maniacal laugh instead of a nice, happy kid's laughter. But when you factor in the Pennywise in the channel art, it just, like, there must be something behind this. There must be something going on here. And you might be like, Q-Star, why are you lingering on this clown so much? It's creeping me out. I did that intentionally so that you guys could really get a sense of how creepy this Pennywise is. I don't think it's a mistake like this guy was like, oh, I need a clown mask for the channel art. I, let me just, I grab this one. It is clearly a creepy mask. It's like worn away in certain areas. It's got the yellow eyes and like the creepy marks. There's no way that he mistook that for like a normal happy clown mask. So I guess this is the part of the video 
video where I'm supposed to give my theory on what's going on here because there's really nothing concrete I can discern from the 40 or 50 videos I watched from this channel. It's not really, the horror, the creepiness isn't often enough to say that he's really trying to make an impact on children or something like that, creep them out. I mean, the foot thing is pretty often, but I think that's also completely up in the air whether it's weird or if it's just something that kids like and find funny. So with nothing really concrete to work with, I guess my theory would be that this is just some dad. There's a video of him and his wife and his child on their second channel. I'm not going to include that because I don't want to like expose these people since I really don't know what's going on with the channel. But my theory is that it's just a dad that's maybe messing around in these videos. Maybe he got tired of the standard format, decided to throw in a baby cry and throw in an evil laugh, throw in Pennywise in the channel art so that he can like show his friends and be like, look what I put in this kid's video or this kid's channel. Isn't that crazy? But my best advice to him would be to remove the clown, remove those videos with the creepy laughs and stuff. I mean, they do have millions of views, but you can get millions of views with like any of your videos. So maybe just stick to the format. You've got this amazing thing going on of being able to teach kids colors and make millions of dollars a month from it. So just stick to that and don't do anything else to mess it up. But I really want to know what you guys think of this channel because I don't want to feel like a crazy person for even looking into it. Do you think that there's something weird going on with the feet or do you think this is a normal thing that kids like? Do you think that the sound effects are just a mistake or a misunderstood sound effect and that it wasn't intentional that it's a baby crying and an evil laugh? And what do you think of Pennywise in the channel art? Because honestly, I would not have made this video if I didn't see Pennywise. That's what set off my weird uh, sensors or whatever to something going on here. Let me know if you like to see me doing something different. It might not always be this sort of thing, but I would like to expand out of Reddit videos a little bit. There will be another video coming out today that's more in my normal genre of stuff. But anyway, skate on to the best of your abilities. Make sure you're having an absolutely fantastic day by drinking more water, and I will see you very soon. Stay safe out there and keep an eye on what your kids are watching.